Wonder Diamond, South India's largest lab-grown diamond brand, stores at Chennai, Coimbatore, Bangalore and Hyderabad. Hello and welcome to Galata Plus. In this episode, we are going to be talking about Abhishek Sharma's Ram Setu with Akshay Kumar as an atheist archaeologist. Adam's Bridge, also known as Rama's Bridge or Ram Setu, is a chain of natural limestone shoals that links the southeastern coast of Tamil Nadu and the northwestern coast of Sri Lanka. Geological evidence suggests that this bridge is a former land connection between India and Sri Lanka. I took this information basically from Wikipedia, which I think is more than the people who made this film did. Abhishek Sharma is the writer-director. He wants Ram Sethu to be like Raiders of the Lost Ark, with Akshay Kumar as the atheist archaeologist like Indiana Jones. A shipping company owner wants part of the bridge destroyed for easier passage and the Akshay character is called to investigate whether the bridge was really built by raw drama as is widely believed or whether it is just as Wikipedia says a naturally formed chain of limestone shoals. The hero's name is Aryan Kulshreshtra. If you break up the surname, that is Kul Prashreshtra, it means one who belongs to the best lineage. As for Aryan, let's not even get started. Names and places play an important role in subliminally rooting this film in a religious zone. Aryan's wife, played by Nushrat Barucha, is Gayatri, which is also the name of a Hindu mantra. Her parents live in Banaras. Satyadev Kancharna appears midway, midway in the story and midway between the bridge, as someone who helps Aryan and his boat is named Chiranjeevi. Heck, at that point, I knew who he was, while Aryan sits around blankly as if he thought the man was a fan of the Telugu star. Forget archaeology, has Aryan even read Amachita Katha? Along for the ride is Jacqueline Fernandez. Her name is Sandra Ribello, but I was more interested in her occupation. She plays an environmental scientist, but I think she's really employed by Max Factor to test how indestructible their makeup is. I mean, Sandra swims through an underwater tunnel. Sandra braves a storm. She runs through a jungle with machine guns firing at her and her hair and lipstick remain intact. The film doesn't even reach the slickness of Raiders of the Lost Ark which was released in 1981. I mean, 40 years on, have we not reached the same level of visual effects? The underwater research done by Aryan and team is so unconvincing as are the proofs that he produces before the Supreme Court. By the way, apparently, you can just walk into the Supreme Court proceedings the way you'd walk into a park or a restaurant. The doors are always wide open. At least in Raiders, they actually found the Ark. Here, Aryan finds a plant he thinks is Sanjeevani and because it is not native to Sri Lanka, it must have something to do with the Ramayana or something like that. The screenplay is a disaster of epic proportions. It even very randomly includes the civil war in Sri Lanka and by the end, Aryan implies that we have saved Muslim structures like the Qutub Minar and the Taj Mahal, so we should not disturb the Ram Setu. Okay boss, have it your way, but along the way, just give us some good action, some good adventure, no? A supposed action sequence involving a storm and Aryan losing control of a submarine is so badly executed that I began to feel bad for Ram Setu. I mean, here's this poor bridge, it's just lying there, minding its own business for centuries. And now, it has to put up with Aryan's unintentional comedy with a floating rock and an aqua suit that looks like a robot in a Japanese automobile plant. I felt sorrier for our mythology, with fascinating aspects like the worship of Ravana and Sri Lanka being reduced to afterthoughts. In the end, the so-called evidence that Aryan gets is of practically no use because the judge rules that belief need not be proved. Hell, then why did I just watch this movie? So that's it about Ram Sethi. If you like this review, do subscribe to Galata Plus and see you soon at the movies. Wonder Diamond, South India's largest lab-grown diamond brand, stores at Chennai, Coimbatore, Bangalore and Hyderabad.